Hi, I'm Ranger Heidi, coming to you from Mission Trails Regional Park, one of the largest urban parks in the nation. And today we're here to celebrate California Clean Air Day. I'm surrounded by all these beautiful trees here at Kumeyaay Lake Campground. And in addition to providing habitat for wildlife and shade and filtering water runoff, trees are a great contributor to clean air. They produce oxygen, absorb carbon dioxide, and collect particulate and dust matter in the air. So today we're gonna to look at some of the native trees found here at Mission Trails, some that you might consider planting in your yard to help contribute to clean air. Right now I'm standing under the shade of this beautiful western sycamore tree, one of the most common trees that you find in riparian habitats, those located along waterways, rivers, lakes, streams, etc., where they like to keep their toes, their roots, in the water. So if you choose to plant a native sycamore in your yard, um, you will know that you'll be promised with this amazing shade provided by the canopy made by these large, wonderful palmate leaves. Palmate, you can remember because like the palm of your hand, they have five fingers. And underneath, there's these really nice, soft, fuzzy hairs, which long ago, our Native Americans here in San Diego, the Kumeyaay, they would use as nature's toilet paper. Um, the trees also provide amazing habitat for local wildlife, birds, love nesting in the trees. Uh, the strong branches were also used by the Kumeyaay for constructing the frame of their dome-shaped huts called Iwas or Wa for short. If you do decide to plant a sycamore, uh, they do not keep their leaves year-round. In fall, uh, they are deciduous, so they'll start changing color like right now. As a matter of fact, you can see some of the leaves changing here. And uh, as the name fall implies, the leaves do drop in fall, so you have to uh, not mind doing a little bit of raking. And um, again, as I mentioned, <laughs> since uh, they're a riparian species, um, you do have to be prepared to provide a little more water for it. But it does pay off as far as uh, saving you on energy costs with the shade that it provides. Here I'm standing beneath another common riparian tree found in San Diego County, the Fremont Cottonwood. It's called a cottonwood because it produces white, fluffy, cotton-like seeds, which are dispersed by the wind. And speaking of the wind, uh, you can see right now there's a little gentle breeze that has these delta-shaped leaves gently fluttering easily because of the flat petiole instead of a round one like most leaves have and it makes a nice, relaxing, uh, gentle rain sound. And also makes you appreciate it a little more when you realize that an adult tree like this can produce 260 pounds of oxygen a year. Two mature trees can produce enough oxygen for a family of four for a year. So you'll be then contributing to uh, that clean air, that clean, fresh air that we all need. Here we have an arroyo willow, one of the most common trees found in San Diego in riparian habitats. As you can see, it also makes a nice shady canopy. And you can tell it's an arroyo willow compared to other species of willow by the leaves. They have this dark green top and the undersides have this silvery gray that kind of give it away. It was super useful for the kumeyaay long ago. Uh, the bark was used by women to make skirts. The branches are strong and flexible and were used by the men to make tools and weapons. 
and the leaves and stems together were woven into baskets, giant granary baskets that were used to store acorns. Also, within the leaves of willow, as well as beneath the bark, there's salicylic acid, which you might know better as aspirin, and so it was also used medicinally. As far as clean air goes, an average tree can absorb 48 pounds of carbon dioxide a year, that much less that's contributing to our greenhouse gases, and a whole acre of forest can actually absorb twice the amount of carbon dioxide produced by an average car's annual mileage. If you're looking to have a tree with year-round leaves, right here we have our native majestic coast live oak. As the name applies, live oak is because it is an evergreen and so will not lose its leaves like our other deciduous riparian trees we discussed earlier. Live oaks do not require as much water as the riparian species. In fact, you can overwater an oak causing root rot. So you wanna be careful where you plant it that it's not too close to a natural water source. From the tiny acorn, a mighty oak does grow, but it grows very slowly. So that's something to take into consideration if you do want to uh, have an oak added to your yard is that it is a slow grower. Historically though, it was super important for the kumeyaay providing acorns as a staple in their diet. In fall, which is this time of year, is when um, they actually start to mature and turn from this green to a pretty brown color. They often then drop, leaving the little caps attached, or sometimes they'll fall with them still intact. Of course, it's a valued food for wildlife, uh, for jays and squirrels. Um, out here at Mission Trails Park, even the deer, believe it or not, eat acorns. talking about trees and how they're great contributors to clean air, but also for that matter, so are shrubs. And there's a lot of great native shrubs that you can plant in your yard, which will grow more quickly, require less water because they're drought tolerant. And when they get big enough, they can become almost the size of a tree, providing shade as well. This hardy shrub here is called lemonade berry. Uh, come spring, it'll get clusters of creamy white flowers followed by flat red sticky berries, which are tart like lemons, hence the name. So you see, um, you can also prune these shrubs into hedges if you need a little more privacy between your yard and the neighbor's yard. Um, they're gonna also grow a little more quickly. So maybe if um, you're a little impatient for those trees, uh, you can consider planting some native shrubs. On our website, you'll find resources for local native plant nurseries where you can find uh, great trees and shrubs for your yard, as well as tips on how to plant. So we hope that you'll come on out to Mission Trails and enjoy some of our lovely native trees here and even be inspired, hopefully, to plant your own trees and shrubs in your yard, thus helping to contribute to clean air, not just today, but every day.